Okay, Jeff, listen up, huh? It's fall today. It's cold. It's been cold. Why aren't you in a mood? Just woke up. That was like an hour ago. What would you like me to do? <laughs> Give me five Red Bulls and I'll fake it. Fake it till you make it. Jeff got me to try a Red Bull last night and I thought my eyeballs were gonna fall out of my head. I don't know what happened. So I haven't had Red Bull in decades. I've had some recently and I'm like... Is it addicted? Addicted. It tastes like somebody took a fruit punch Pour 20 bags of sugar in it and three okay, espressos. Okay, but this, was, this wasn't a regular Red Bull. It was a yellow one. Yellow can. I can't remember. Tropical fruit or something. It literally, I, I was like, Whoa. Yeah, but then you wanted more. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was sugar. Okay, Jeff. Happy fall. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your favorite thing about fall? This will probably only make sense to people that I know what you're gonna say. Have played football or are around football, but there's a smell. You're gonna say that. There's a smell <laughs> in fall. I know when it's football season when I go outside and can smell. It's like the crisp fall air smell mm -hmm. that triggers a football brain. My favorite thing about fall is literally everything. That's a crappy answer. Okay, here we go. The pumpkins, the leaves, the outfit. The leaves suck. No, they're so pretty. Oh, on the trees, yeah. yeah but when they're on the ground, and but you when gotta... they're on the ground, you get to crunch, crunch, crunch when you, you walk on them. You don't crunch on any of them. I have to do it. The dogs walk on them and they crunch. Yeah, them. and then they poop, and you can't tell the difference between a leaf and the poop. That's part of the fun. That's part of the mystery. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games. And board games, thanks. Exactly. We are here today to do another seasonal video. And today's video is going to be all about 10 board games that we would recommend for the season of fall or autumn, if you fancy. Is it autumn in England? Well, yeah, who, where do people say autumn? I've never. Definitely. I uh, rarely ever Europe. hear autumn. Well, in Canada, it's either. Oh, <gasps> cat! That's a different one. Kitty, go off the road. There's like one car that goes up this road every week. Kitty on a mission. In my 35 years of life, rarely hear autumn. Rarely. Yeah, most people say fall. That I could probably count easier. on one hand how many times. It's an autumnal soup, people might say. Pumpkin soup. What? What? For the first game, let's start off with a an obvious choice, okay? The first game that I would recommend for the season of fall or autumn would be Fox in the Forest. Mm -hmm. Now, here's why. That's not a silly reco. It's not. So Fox in the Forest me. is a two-player only trick-taking game with foxes on the covers and leaves. And what do you think of when you think of fall? The two fall requirements, foxes and leaves. Foxes and leaves. Exactly. Why is, I do associate fall with foxes. Yeah. That's very weird. Why? I have a tattoo of a fox on my arm. And Why? Jeff said that if I were a season, I'd be fall. I don't know. That's I think weird. that the foxes like the to color? come out. It's because of the color. Mm. They like they're like, wow, those leaves match me, so mm -hmm. they can do better camouflage. Yeah. So this is a two-player only trick-taking game that I am very bad at, but we quite enjoy it. Yeah. So in Fox in the Forest, it's all about uh, winning a certain amount of tricks. Yeah. Because if you too win too many, you'll get zero points. But if you get like two to three, you'll score. Like five points at the yeah. end of the round, essentially. So Push it's about kind of like tug of war, figuring out how many tricks you want to take uh, without taking too many. And also, yeah. tug of war is a very fall themed game. So I like think that's fair. I think that's I, fair. I too. did tug of war as a kid, and I think I'm pretty sure it was in the fall. Yeah, yeah. always. We Because that's when school starts. I think it was more so because it was associated with like the fall fair or something. Fall fair. The next recommendation that I have is a little game called The Bears and the Bees from Grandpa Beck's Games. Now, why this game? Because in the fall is when you see the most bears because they are prepping for hibernation. That's and when they're eating the most honey too. That's when they're eating the most honey. That's exactly the point that I was going to make. No, they see where the bees are going. The bees are also going to hibernate. Bees sleep in the winter or they die. I don't actually know. They make all the honey. They're prepping all summer. And then the bears are like, woo, time no, they, for me to fill that's up. Why, no, that's why they're making honey is to survive. So they must. What do they do? Sleep in the honey? No, but it, the, they, they get the their nutrients from the honey because there's no flowers. But what do they do? Where do they go? I don't know. Can somebody please... In the comments, a biologist. Um, biology is fall. 
so everything's decomposing. This is a game, it's just like a simple kind of card placement game. You're building out like a beehive basically, mm -hmm. and then the bears will come out and they'll eat some of the honey. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple card game, and we love Grandpa Beck's games. The colors are very fall-esque, so I would highly recommend it. The bees actually make too much honey. Oh. That's why we're we're yeah. like we're They're able to skim really a little bit. That's yes. why like humans can be like, I'll just take a little bit of your honey. A little off the top. Yeah. And then the bears also take a little off the top. And then the bees do whatever they do in the, the fall. The bears take too much, I think. Did you see how much honey Winnie the Pooh eats? It's a lot. It's a lot of honey. Yeah, it's a lot. Here's one, Jeff. This is a game that Jeff loves. I wonder if you can guess. Mm, root. Try again. Mm, I love it? Yeah. We love this game so much that we even have a group chat named after it. What? With our friends that also love fall and spooky season. You got me lost. And that game is Res Arcana. Uh, we're the Res Arcanists. Why is that fall? I'll tell you. Because the colors on the box are very dark. And when I think of fall, the colors on the box look like my shirt. And this is a fall shirt. All right. Okay. Yeah, sure. So in Res Arcana, you are a mage. And you know when mages and wizards and stuff happen when they come out? It's in the fall. It's too hot in the summer. You can't do magic. It messes with the chemistry. Magic does not happen in the summer. Chemistry sure. is a summer science. Biology and electricity is a fall science. And that's what happens with Res Arcana. Jeff, tell the people a little bit about Res Arcana. Res Arcana, you are a mage, as Jamie pointed out, a fall mage fall uh, in mage. this instance. Don't they and... all look like fall mages? <clears throat> yep, absolutely. Absolutely. You are fighting over places of power in order to create different elements in order to score victory points. Mm -hmm. There's dragons, there's weapons, there's all of these things. It's an engine builder yep. with a race to 10 points, essentially. Yes. Yeah. Dragons are... Very fall. Tell me another season where a dragon makes sense. I'll tell you you're wrong. In elements, all of the elements happen in fall. Mm, that's not true. What? Yeah. Nope. Water, fire, mm -hmm. air, earth. There's no earth. Well, in the world there is. That's an element. All I'm saying is one of them's like very spring feeling. Life. Death. Life is an element in that game. And life would invoke spring. Well, you know what? The rest of it's fall, so we're moving on. Death, okay. I would give you. <clears throat> Death. Death is very fall. Very fall. Everything's dying. Here's one, Jeff. Very similar to the reason that I feel Res Arcana is a fall game. This game is called Cursed Court. And you know when curses fall upon the court? <laughs> in fall. Nobody's, uh, people don't want to be bothered with curses in the summer. It's too cold in the winter. So they're like, you know what? Curse them. It's the fall. Let's curse them. And this is a bidding game. It's very good. This is a very, very good, bidding, good game. bidding game. You're going to have a stack of kings, queens. Call them jesters. just like bidding chips for right. the sake of what they are. That's not what they're called in the game. And then there's a grid and certain cards are going to come out to tell you what might be coming up in terms of like the characters on the board. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what characters are going to come up in the game to bid on. And whoever has the most of their chips on the character that comes up or like a collection of characters are going to score victory points. Yeah, but, because you have cards in your hands that tell you mm -hmm. who you should be bidding on. And then there's like, I think two a or three one. common pool cards that come up to let you know who's coming up on the board. So you're placing your, your chips on the board and you can knock someone off of that territory or whatever, that person by bidding Spending more than them, mm -hmm. but they get their chips back to replace. Did it give you fall vibes? Yep. Yep, sure did because of the curses. Yep. Okay. This is a game, friends, that for the longest time I said, I don't like this game. And then I played it again. And I was like, I think I like this game. And it's very fall vibes. Can you guess? You say that about a lot of games. That's a that's a tough one. I'm not no, I don't this know. This one I was pretty adamant. Agricola? No, I still hate Agricola. Ugh. Brass Birmingham. Okay. Brass Birmingham is a game about making beer. Well, and fall ale. Kind of, I guess. Loggers, pumpkin ale. What about industry? I wouldn't say it's just industry. Amazing. The vibe of this game is very eerie. It's very like dark and dingy. And you're like, ooh, I gotta go to work and make beer. Do you know what it reminds me of? Or do stuff. It it it, it does I think I know you're kind of kidding, but like the dark uh -huh. the dark theme and board and like where you are really invokes to me that like Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper setting or like know. Dracula setting. Yep. Like 
very old timey industrial like 20s England. Yes. I'm just going to say right now, you're not going to see spooky games pop up on this list. That's a different list. Mm -hmm. This is just seasonal. But this one almost fits like in the perfect in between because- Even though it has nothing to do with any of that. But it's so like, there's something about it that's just kind of like creepy. It is true. The board is very dark and, and dingy and mm -hmm. I get what you're throwing down, Jamie. Exactly, I get it. you do. I'm picking yes. it up. Next up, we have one called Vast Crystal Caverns. I uh, don't know how you're getting there with that one, but because you go at it. What did I already say about dragons, Jeff? Number okay. one, there's a dragon in the game. There is a dragon. Okay. Yep. Very fall. And you're also, you're going into a cave. But wouldn't that mean there's no season? Yeah, but above, it's fall. Oh. Where else are you going in caves? Why would you go into a cave in any other season? In the summer? To get cool. No, I think in the summer, it's too much. It's just, you want to be in the sun tanning in the fall. You're like, I guess I'll explore the cave. And in the cave, there's a dragon. And there's also a knight and others there's goblins goblins are very fall okay right sure. okay so now we're on the same page this is an asymmetrical game of pure magic where everybody is trying to kill somebody else yes and the cave is also working against you but it's working against everyone the cave's trying to kill everyone the cave's trying to kill everyone yeah. and we love this game it is one that does not Who get enough is the recognition. fifth character it's like the ghost the character the thief thank you yeah you're welcome. And he's like a half ghost theme thief, he, yeah, right? Yeah, he dies, he comes back to yeah. life, he dies, he comes back to life. Yeah. And that is very fall. That is very fall. This one is just almost too obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. It is Jeff's favorite game of all time, and that is Root. Hmm. Woodland Creatures. One of the original maps is a fall map. It's literally a fall map. And the so. color scheme of Root is very, like, fall-esque. They're fighting. Like I said before, people don't have war in the summer too hot for everyone they're like let it cool down a little oh it's fall time to fight and so the woodland creatures are in the forest fall and they're fighting each other fall mm -hmm. and there's foxes also fall woodland alliance has a fox the are cover. they foxes it's on the cover. aren't they foxes and mice i don't think the woodland alliance is a fox jeff come on now i'll show you a picture of it woodland alliance because there's Oh, I spelled Alliance wrong. Oh, sh Is this your favorite game or is it my favorite well, game? Well, I mean, to be fair, I play on the app, so I don't get to see the artwork. Root is my favorite game of all time. It's your favorite fall game, And too. it is by far, even though Duelin has kind of ruined it for me. <gasps> Duelin. Go check out Duelin over at Table Knots. It's not very fall. The Actually, ruiner, is. The ruiner of Root. I really love Root. I'm just kidding, Duelin. Love you. One that literally you couldn't even argue if you tried because there's a pumpkin on the cover. And that is Three Sisters. Now, Three Sisters is a roll and write about gardening. And I hear you, I hear you. People are like, you garden in the summer. Sure. Spring. Some people do. Spring is Well, summer. you plant in the spring, it sprouts and you pick it in the summer. No, no, I think that's fair. You plant in the spring, it grows in the summer, you deal with it in the fall. Like you corn, with corns in the fall. on fall, pumpkins in the fall. Exactly, and there's a pumpkin on the cover and there's pumpkins in the It depends game. how long stuff takes to grow. And the colors vary fall. Very so cool. this is the most fall roll and write that I could think of. That's not a spooky roll and write. We'll get to that in another video. But Three Sisters, roll and write about gardening. There's really not much more to say about it. It's fantastic. It's crunchy. What about crunchy. Super Pinball Ramp It Up? No, Jeff. You play pinballs, pinball machines in the fall because it's too cold out. You don't want to be outside. Well, that might be winter then. Okay. You know, because fall is a bit of a mix. Okay. Inside, outside. This next one. How many are we doing? There's 10. Plus two honor mm -hmm. honorable I mentions. Feel like we've been doing this forever. We haven't. This one is another one that has lots of animals. And when you think about fall, what do you think of Jeff? Oh, you're so cozy, Football. cozy, right? You're co getting cozy. You're like, oh, it's getting a little chilly. Better get cozy with my. I mean, sweater. fair. I hate being cold. Even like a little cold. Yes. Is a nightmare for me. Oh, 100 percent. And this game is called Creature Comfort. Mm. This game, once again little creatures and they're like oh summer it is over now we need to get comfy they need to, we build need to stuff. get cozy yeah. we gotta gather we gotta gather we gotta build things in order yeah. to get you know our sit by the fire to build our comfort yes this game from kids table board gaming is freaking amazing and it is a dice worker placement game where you're taking actions once again 
to become more comfortable and cozy. And there's nothing more fall than that except for pumpkin spice lattes. But guess what? There's no game about pumpkin spice lattes. That if shocks me. If there was, me. I would own it. That shocks me. If there is, please tell me about it. Number 10, and then I'll just briefly mention two honorable mentions, but number 10 is a little card game called Memoji. Yep. Now, this one is about leaves. What do we, I've, I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. When you think of fall, what do you think of? Football. And leaves. And on the box, oh, where'd it go? Oh, I can't reach it. Ow. Oh, I hit my elbow. <laughs> Look at this. You tell me this isn't about fall. There's also, I think, acorn tokens. Yep, sure are. And when do you find acorns on the ground? That definitely happens in the fall. Yep. So this is a little set collection card game. You're collecting different types of leaves and it is super cute. And there's a deer on the front and the box looks like fall. And that is why it's on the list. We have two honorable mentions. Very okay. quickly, I will mention, one is extremely obvious and it is called Dwarves Fall. Mm -hmm. It is literally about the, the fall. It is in the title. This is from Vesuvius Media, and it's about dwarves who are fighting and doing stuff. This one is the tile, more tile placement. They're building stuff out mm -hmm. in the fall. This series, game for every season. Can't go wrong. Yep. Can't go wrong with that. And then the other honorable mention I wanted to put out there was Carnival of Monsters. And oh, this, good one. Yeah, this should have probably been on the list. Mm. But I had too many options. So yeah. Carnival of Monsters is from Richard Garfield. And you are essentially going out into the world to capture monsters and put them into a dark carnival. And monsters are fall. This is a great game. That should have been great. on the list. Yeah, it should have been on the list. But here we are. Anyways, those now. are our recommendations for fall games. If you have other recommendations, please let us know. As I mentioned, I love fall. So just so you know the criteria, leaves, definitely needs leaves, monsters, foxes, biology but not chemistry, elements besides life, dragons, definitely caves for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I already said leaves, but just to reiterate, and football. <laughs> so football highlights we didn't get yep. that on the list uh, blitz bowl blitz bowl didn't get on the list we Blood never played didn't it get on the list. we never played it we can't put it on the list we never played it that is all we have today if you're it interested is. in buying fall games specifically you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store and for us that is boardroom game cafe yes it is they have fall games they do unbelievable amount yep you go there you see leaves everywhere thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you see please subscribe we hope to see you again soon and have a happy fall Yee, goodbye later days <sighs> well that light's not really doing anything is it <sighs> uh, uh, oh no am i missing anything exciting in discord my favorite thing mine and now let's get maybe into i should video. reach out thief again spooky yeah spooky i love how you're like i'm reading and then i say like i should reach out thief like again read something new God. Hello everyone, Jack. You're not looking. We are gonna recommend ten. This is this gonna be? be it's gonna be silly nonsense like last time, like the summer one. You betcha. Okay, from Grandpa Peck Pecks, where you I I forget. How does it play? If you need a fall game, that's the one. Okay. Perfect. These are shenanigans, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That shocks me. It shocks me too. It's unbelievable. Rhyme or reason to any of these, but.